Hi, and welcome to App Exchange Mavericks. My name is Alex Sutherland, and I'm the director of Salesforce Architecture at Liberty IT Solutions, a Booz Allen Hamilton company, and also a Salesforce MVP. I'm here today with Don Dittmar from Highland to talk about their App Exchange solution. Don is a member of Highland's product management team, where his expertise is business process automation and innovation. Welcome, Don. Can you tell us more about your solution? Yeah, thanks, Alex. Highland is a Gartner Magic Quadrant leader in what we call content services. And really what we do is we capture, process, store, and govern what we call unstructured content. So anything from a simple printed contract all the way to a multi-layer MRI of your knee in a healthcare application. And in context of Salesforce, you know, that means what we're doing is stripping down our application, our core content services, and making it available to embed in in Salesforce and in Salesforce applications. So that's great, really helpful, Don. And definitely a requirement that we see in a lot of our projects and customers. Can you tell us more about what makes Salesforce and Highland such a great match? First, it's it's more and more rare in our customer base that, that we have a customer that hasn't made an investment in Salesforce. And this is really where the, the Highland solution shines. Um, it's very important to have our unstructured content you know, matched up to a Salesforce application. But these customers that have invested in Salesforce, they have other applications as well, a Workday, an SAP environment, or maybe even a legacy environment from something that they've acquired through M&A. Secondly, I think, you know, Salesforce provides a lot of functionality right out of the box, but its real power is that you can configure it almost infinitely. It's really set up to do just about anything. And, and we believe that our application from a content perspective really does the same thing. Yeah, I agree, Don, that having content in context is so critical to uh, a productive and, and uh, good user experience. Can you tell us a bit more about what makes uh, your solution unique in the Salesforce App Exchange? To me, it's it's really our increasing ability to what I'll call deconstruct our, our application and make it available tr as truly services, microservices that can serve other parts of the ecosystem. You can take as much or as little as you need and really get the application and the solution that you want overall. That sounds really powerful. Don, could you give us a few more examples of how customers are using your application? We have a number of city and state governments that use us in health and human services case management. So everything from a, a business application license to dog licenses to very complex tax returns, um, governments are using us to manage the content alongside their case management. In the financial services space, lending is very, very complex in, in the you know in the kind of the economic situation throughout the world. So, um, lots of variables that our that our banking customers like to manage uh, the data, the structured data within Salesforce, but a lot of supporting information, unstructured content that has to go along with those. So we merge those together. With Salesforce product management, we worked on a connection between their app called Admissions Connect and our uh, underlying. Uh, transcript solutions to really focus and serve transfer students that move between one university and they're matching the complexity of one catalog uh, to another university's catalog, along with the process and the admissions uh, pieces and movements that go along with that. Where we see the most opportunity and, and growth is in the healthcare space. A lot of the initiatives around patient record portability and accessibility has created a need for uh, hospital and health organizations to utilize Salesforce as that kind of uh, communication tool, that patient portal, if you will, um, storing and, and sharing everything from an MRI to a simple insurance statement, things along those lines. Well, that's an impressive array of uh, customers and use cases, Don. What's the biggest trend you're seeing right now in this ecosystem? For us, a lot of what that means is the shift from what our industry used to be called enterprise content management to what it is today, which is content services. Enterprise content management was sort of its own application, meaning if you needed to look at content, you were going to open that application and run it you know, next to the other applications that you're using for your line of business. Um, today, it's much more integrated, much more stripped down. As I mentioned before, we're taking all of our services and making them a part of the other ecosystem apps. Along with that, obviously, comes keeping that access Accessibility, the provisioning of that content, you know, for the right users and the right security, the right permissions is really critical. So we've worked very hard to work with third-party identity management, you know, functions and tools that exist today, but also bring our own so the customer can really manage what they need to do to make sure that we can provide all the content services to those various apps that we need and do it in a secure fashion. 
Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, Don. Do you have a demo you could show us of uh, how the Highlight application works with Salesforce? Yeah, happy to show that to you now. So here we have an account object in a typical Salesforce CRM environment. Keep in mind here that we're using account in this context because it's relatively universal, but obviously our application works with any Salesforce object, stock or custom object. So this could just as easily be a vendor object, a patient object in the health healthcare space, a warehouse site, or really any app exchange or custom object that you might want to use for your business. Here our user is reviewing the account and wants to find associated content of any format that's related to this account. So our user navigates to the Highland Documents tab. Behind the scenes here, the Highland application is running what we call a custom query to take all of the metadata that's attached to this Salesforce account object and return all of the associated content in any format that's associated or indexed to this Salesforce object. The user can then leverage both search and filtering functions to refine the content they're seeking in relation to the Salesforce object. The user can filter on various types of content, certain metadata values, sort based on their own customized index values, which is something we refer to as keywords. These can of course be singular searches or singular filters, or in the cases of really large sets of content, it can be combined filters or even pre-configured custom queries based on the object that the user is viewing in Salesforce. When the user finds what they're looking for, a simple click will take them to the embedded Highland Content Viewer. From here, they can see the relevant metadata, review the document itself, scroll, zoom, navigate, use any of the custom kind of rich content features that they need. Keep in mind that this works with Salesforce Mobile as well, so haptic functions such as pinch to zoom that are native to the device will also work here. Next, our user realizes they need to add some additional content to this Salesforce object, so they simply click the import button, navigate to the content they'd like to include, and capture it from any storage location. And this can be a scanner, or in the case of mobile, even the device camera, if they're trying to take an image of a live piece of content. It's important to remember that the user isn't attaching this content to the Salesforce record, but rather directly to the Highland Cloud application, ensuring this content isn't siloed and can be accessed not only by Salesforce users, but users of other enterprise systems as well. Provided, of course, that those users have the appropriate permissions. Here, the user can enter any important metadata but the Highland application will also index the content with the metadata stored within the Salesforce record where applicable. The content can also be fed to other Highland applications for workflow automation, intelligent OCR extraction of data from the content, and other functions to add automation and value throughout the joint solution. Lastly, if content workflow is necessary, our user can view the status of any content in Highland workflow directly from the Salesforce application. Our user can view any tasks associated with the content, here we're demonstrating a simple approval task, but complex, sequential, even conditional tasks can also be performed using the Highland Workflow Engine supporting the integration. Users can combine data-centric workflows managed in Salesforce with content-centric workflows managed within the Highland integration. Thanks for the great demo, Don, and thanks for joining me today on App Exchange Mavericks. Yeah, you can always check us out at highland.com, but also find us on the App Exchange. <laughs>